all right hello in this video I'm going to teach you on how to put some math notations in the Google form which is hard to do because especially like you're going to put some equations or fractions or exponents or square roots in the Google form which are not possible to do like let's say for example we want to put an x squared we cannot do the same the same thing as we do in excel or in in microsoft word let's say we were going to change it into um exponent so using the shortcut key for uh exponent like in word will just make your window uh zoom in so it was actually control shift and plus sign which is not possible for a google form and sometimes you just put this kind of symbol to to show that it's an x squared but sometimes it's gonna it's gonna be confusing if you have some ex uh continuations let's say x squared plus x so it would look like a an uh, an x times 2 plus x so to avoid some confusion i suggest to do something like this x and then so square in the superscript um it's like this that's an x squared so how did i do that how come that it's possible to put an exponent in the google form so basically as i have shown you a while ago i just copy an, a square symbol from here from the unicode so where did i get this so by the way you can you can have this in the spreadsheet so a spreadsheet not the excel you cannot have this in excel we will have this kind of symbol uh, let's say 2 but putting this um, command equals car and then the number of the the unicode we call this the the unicode number 178 that is for the superscript 2 which is the square so if you press enter then you will have this uh, symbol 2 it's a superscript so basically all these colored yellow cells are superscripts and unfortunately some are not yet uh, found I haven't found it yet like let's say for example small letter Q I haven't found the Unicode for this character also for capital Q capital X and Y and capital F so that's the problem so at least uh, although this is not complete but at least I think it could help you but in case there is a need for you to make a superscript which are not present here there is an alternate alternative way to solve it and I'm going to show that later so just for for this if you have this already equals as i've shown you it's it's using this command equals car and then the unicode 178 it will show you the exponent 2 and then you copy it and then you just paste it so it will be like this so it will be a, it will become a square and then let's say you want a letter uh, a letter let's say h to that that h is coming from this command equals car and then you put this which actually i put the cell e9 which is you can just write this number 7476 and this h will appear so just like this equals car uh, i believe that means character 7476 and then press enter and then you will have this h which is this is actually a superscript if you're going to paste it in 
the Google form, it will be like this a extra power of eight. I also have some Unicodes here which are subscripts, so I'll just delete this. So we have also some symbols which are these are also superscripts with their Unicodes. So I'm going to share this um, spreadsheet. I'm going to give the link. I'm going to put the link in the description. And we also have subscripts. So let's say X sub uh, A. You want to write an X sub A in the Google form. So X sub A. So that's a subscript. So all those colored blue cells are subscripts, including the numbers and some symbols which are subscripts. So we have almost complete capital letter subscripts. I think it's complete. Uh, the problem is with the small letters, we don't have C, F, G, and Q, W, Z for sub subscripts. For numbers, we have complete from 0 to 9 uh, subscripts. And we also have this symbol at the left. Sim these are not subscripts nor superscripts. These are, these are just symbols for times, for divide because it's not good to use an x let's say that uh, you want to say x times x and we're gonna write it this way which is not good but it's better to use the symbol four times so we have this equals car and 215 it will this symbol will appear so we copy this and paste it here in the google form and that's uh, that's better that's x and that times x or you can just simply use parentheses but my point there is uh, how to put uh, the symbol so anyway these are the possible symbols for math mostly in math we have pi we have for every we there are two fonts of for every or for all symbol we have the e the peso sign, degrees Celsius, degrees Fahrenheit. Now we have another font style of the pi. We have the rate of change, the delta sign, the sigma. So we have intersection, union, the or and end for proposition for logic and set. So there are a lot of symbols here that can be used in the Google form which is not possible for you to just simply type so we have therefore which is actually can be pasted here so that's actually therefore when you are proving we have a delta symbol or a tell this symbol an approximation symbol subset and so on so this is another fun stuff for therefore which is kind of bigger so there are a lot of symbols that they have we have also null set symbol which is not possible to make in the Google form. All right. So now uh, you might think, how? Uh, what if it's you're going to write a fraction? Let's say uh, there uh, we have one fourth. One fourth. So one fourth can be written like that, but uh let's say we want to write the one over four symbol like there's a numerator and denominator not just like a slash like this so the problem is we don't have here a one port i i i think there is a character that is exactly one port but the problem is it's uh, there are so many fractions to uh to put and it's not all present of course because there are infinitely many fractions and also equations which are not possible anymore to use using this unicodes and so i suggest for anything that cannot be done by, by cop, uh, doing copy paste from the unicodes in the spreadsheet you use um an equation it's it's an app in the uh, that can be extended in the in Google. So you're going to search for equation. 
equation and then equation may not be digital so we're going to add this to chrome add to chrome add extension all right so okay it's already there now we're going to go back to our google form and refresh so we're going to refresh this so that the equation will be added so as you can see there's a blue a symbol here with a with a sigma or summation symbol so this is for equation so let's say we want to put the the formula or let's say a fraction a fraction so we're gonna press this and then the equation editor and then the three dots then the pi symbol so we can choose whether it's square root or whatever we can also put a subscript or superscript using this equation just like the unicodes but i'm going to show you later the disadvantage of this so let's say we want to put a 3 3 3 x plus 1 say 3 x plus 1 over 2 x plus 2 x minus 1 and then you press insert math so it will put the okay the fraction the, the expression or the the fraction 3x plus 1 over 2x minus 1 so it's actually covered with this it's just a, just a setting all right so um the problem with this is it will not insert in the uh sentence here let's say the the expression uh, I mean the rational expression and then of course you want to put this rational expression here beside the word rational expression that's a problem because you cannot do that it will automatically put it at the bottom or below so that's a that's a, this is the time that you need to find ways to reconstruct your sentence so that the those expression that will uh that, that needs to use equation will be uh, put here so you have to reconstruct the sentence so that it will the end sentence will be as shown below the rational, rational expression as shown below so something like that because we we cannot put this uh expression that is created by equation because it is created as image it is now an image that's why it's here so that's the thing with equation but at least we can do we can insert anything that cannot be done in, in unicode the advantage of unicode is you can put it within the sentence so as i've shown you let's say x to the power of six so we can have we can insert it here uh, x to the power of six we, we can put that in between the sentences but the disadvantage with the unicode is just limited it is limited to whatever it can do it cannot do fraction uh, it cannot do square root i think there is i have a square root symbol here but it's just limited to some square root cube root and fourth root but we cannot do some other expressions i i mean roots let's say it's just nth root so you cannot do that so we have infinity as well so we have a lot of symbols here but it is just limited so at least it is not totally doing what you want to do let's say this rational expression in the sentence it cannot do we cannot do that in equation but at least it might this might help so this is this might be a little help for you so hopefully at least it will add to your option and how to solve those problems in the google form in case of putting some math notations in your google form so i i think that's all for this video and i hope I am able to uh, help 
help you with this kind of problem which is I used to uh, experience 